to my channel, Common Cat Creations, where I like to post all about sewing, beauty, and makeup. So today, in case you couldn't tell by the red, white, and blue eyes, I have a very patriotic makeup look inspired by the 4th of July. And this is just super fun and bright and colorful and perfect for the upcoming holidays, so I really hope y'all like it. And I hope everybody has a fantastic and most importantly safe holiday. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. I've just washed my face and applied my moisturizer and to start off I take my Wet n Wild Coverall Primer and I apply this all over my face just to prep my skin for foundation and this creates a really smooth surface and helps the foundation last. So for foundation I'm using Wet n Wild's Coverall Foundation in Fair and I like to put tiny dots of it all over my face for an even application which totally makes me look like a foundation monster. And then I blend it out with a damp makeup wedge which creates just a really smooth natural finish that I love. For concealer, I'm using this LA Girl Pro Conceal in Porcelain, and I apply it underneath my under eyes and then blend it out with the same sponge as before, just to brighten up and even out the under eye area. And I actually just purchased this, and so far I'm a big fan. I've seen so many YouTubers talk about it, that when I found it for only 2 bucks on Amazon, I had to give it a go, and I'm happy I did. Now since this is a 4th of July makeup look, I gotta start with a little bit of a Lit From Within Glow, so I apply a little bit of the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip in Lilac Petal on the tops of my cheekbones and then I blend it out. Now to add to that glow, I grab my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Multi Stick in the shade Light Up My Hibiscus and I rub it onto the back of my hand and then use a firm brush to stipple it onto my cheeks just for a subtle glowy blush. And if you want more info on this, check out my review of Wet n Wild's Lost in the Wildflowers collection. I love these products for the perfect summer glow. To set everything in place, I'm using Milani's Prep Set Go Transparent Face Powder with a fluffy brush, and don't forget your under eye area because you don't want the concealer to crease in this hot weather. We'll get back to the face more later, but for now, apply some eyelid primer all over your lids. And I love this e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer because it's inexpensive and effective, and I like to bring a little under my lash line too to make sure all the shadow stays in place. Now I use shadows from several palettes in this look, but you don't need the same brands or palettes to do it, just grab your shadows that are similar in color. And to start I grab my Makeup Revolution Unicorns Unite palette and apply this matte light brown to the crease with a fluffy brush as a transition shade. From the same palette I also use the matte white on a flat shadow brush and apply it to the inner half of the lid. And it's not super pigmented bright white, but it does the job. And then I grab the Makeup Revolution Unicorns Are Real palette and top off the matte white with a shimmery white shadow. From my BH Cosmetics First Edition 120 color palette, I apply this bright red on the outer half of the lid with just a basic shadow brush. Then with a slightly deeper satin red from the Unicorns Are Real palette, I deepen up the outer V just a bit. Then to blend the red into that lighter inside corner, I use a bit of the shimmery white shadow from earlier on a blending brush, and then I blend the two colors to create a natural looking transition between the white and red. And if I did this look over again, I would choose a more pigmented white, but I still love the final result. The last separate palette I grabbed for was this NYX Love in Paris palette for that reddish brown shade, which I apply into the outer V to add a little bit of dimension and to create a very subtle cat eye shape with the shadow. I decided to add a bit more of the red shadows and then I blended them into the white to brighten up the color a bit before going back to the original matte brown transition shade to blend out all the edges and make everything look really smooth. Once I was happy with the blending, I used this beautiful blue satin shade from the Unicorns Are Real palette, and I added a bit to the inner corner, which I blended into the white, and then using an angled liner brush, I blended a generous amount of that blue into the lower lash line, extending that line beyond the eye to create a smudged blue winged liner coming from the lower lash line. Put some of the shimmery white shadow onto a soft fluffy brush, and blend it into the blue shadow to soften up the color some. Then I lined my waterline with a blue eyeliner pencil by NYX for just a subtle effect. I didn't have too much fallout, but to clean up the little bit I did have, I just added a bit more concealer under the eyes and then blended it out and set it with some more translucent powder. For liner, I'm using the Kat Von D Black Liquid Liner to create a winged cat eye, winging out the edge just above that blue eyeshadow, and I also intensified that blue with the NYX pencil. 
curl your lashes and then apply either mascara or falsies and since I'm not a falsies girl I grabbed my Clinique High Impact Mascara and coated it on my upper and lower lashes although I was a bit unhappy with the results because the mascara is getting a bit old and dried out and it didn't make my lashes nearly as long and full as usual so I'll be putting that one in the trash but you still get the idea. Next up, I fill in and shape my brows with the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Medium, and once I get the shape I'm somewhat happy with, I grab my latest brow favorite, the Essence Make Me Brow Tinted Eyebrow Gel, and I add it to keep the brows in place. For the brow bone highlight, I add a touch of the matte white shadow before moving back to the face products. For bronzer and blush, I'm using this matte e.l.f. duo, so I apply a bit of the bronzer to my forehead, temples, and cheeks for an ever so subtle warmth. Not too much since I have no tan and it looked really unnatural, which I have done before and I'm sure we all have. And then I use the coral blush shade and add it to my cheeks for a healthy flush. To add a bit more highlight, aside from the cream product from earlier, I'm trying out this e.l.f. baked highlighter to add a nice glow. For lips, first I use this NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Rikujian, although I have no idea how that's actually pronounced, and I line and fill in my lips with it. And then to add a bit of a shine, I use this Jordana Lip Gloss to finish off the look and deepen up the lips slightly. There you have it, my final 4th of July makeup look. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you like the final look. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I think it's super fun and playful, so if you recreate it, I hope you have fun with it too. And like I said in the intro, I hope everybody has a fun and safe 4th of July, and I'll see you all in a video very soon. Bye!